How is it that the Quran is recited and memorized throughout the world? How is it that the Quran is easily read, written, and understood in India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh? What is it that has facilitated the recitation of the Quran, whereas it is perfected in Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines? How is it that you can listen to Quranic recitation and often not decipher where the recited is from while at other times it is distinct? وَخَلَقَ مِنْهَا زَوْجَهَا وَبَثَّ مِنْهُمَا رِجَالًا كَثِيرًا وَنِسَاءً وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَاءَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ عَلَيْكُمْ رَقِيبًا From print to practice is honored to explain to you that which has simplified the different sciences of the Qur'an. Allah has mentioned the simplicity of the Qur'an as he said, repeating it four times in Surah Al-Qamar, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنِ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ And we have certainly made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. Is there anyone who will reflect upon this? This entails everything which leads to contemplating and reflecting upon the meaning of the Qur'an, whether reading, memorizing, understanding, interpreting, or implementing. These matters and more have been made easy for Muslims to fulfill. Therefore, let's look deeper into this matter to gain a greater understanding. Allah says, Alhamdulillah, alladhi anzala ala abidihi al-kitab, وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ عِوَجَ قَيِّمًا All praise is due to Allah who has sent down upon his servant the book and has not made in it any deviance. He made it straight. Allah, the Most High, praises himself in this verse for the greatest favor bestowed upon humanity. That is none other than him revealing the Quran without any ambiguity in its wording or contradictions in its meaning. Instead, the words of the Qur'an are clear, and the content of its meaning is straight and direct. The eloquence of its wording and the accuracy of its meaning is due to the excellence of the Arabic language. Let's look at how Allah describes his book. Qur'anan Arabiyan ghayra dhi iwajil la'allahum yattaqun. It is an Arabic Qur'an without any deviance that they may become righteous. It is an Arabic Quran that is free of obscurity and contradiction. Allah explains in his book that the clarity of the Arabic language and its eloquence is what facilitated Quranic recitation and comprehension. Allah says in his book, فَإِنَّمَا يَسَّرْنَاهُ بِلِسَانِكَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ Certainly, we have made this Quran easy in your tongue meaning in your language, in order that they may contemplate. Allah further explains that he revealed the Qur'an with this simplicity to benefit both the righteous and the heedless. فَإِنَّمَا يَسَّرُنَّاهُ بِلِسَانِكَ لِتُبَشِّرَ بِهِ الْمُتَّقِينَ وَتُنْذِرَ بِهِ قَوْمًا لُدَّى So we have made this Qur'an easy in your tongue, meaning in your language, only that you may give glad tidings to the pious and warn with it a hostile people. Thus, when the Qur'an was easily read and understood, it aided in the rapid spread of Islam. 
What we want to highlight here is the simplicity of the Arabic language. This blessed language is spoken worldwide due to the spread of Islam. Despite the diversity in the languages throughout the world, those who learn to recite the Quran correctly, no accent can be deciphered from their recitation, nor can their nationality be depicted. <laughs> This clearly conveys the simplicity of this blessed language. However, it is not confined to reading and articulation. It also includes fluency when speaking and good comprehension when reading and listening. Thus, Allah explains that he simplified the Quran with this blessed and ambiguous language so that it would be understood. Indeed, we made it an Arabic Quran that you may be able to understand. Further, Allah says, Kitabun anzalnahu ilayka mubarakun liyaddabbaru ayati wa liyatadhakkara ulul albab. This is a book, the Quran, which we have sent down to you full of blessings, that they may ponder over its verses and that men of understanding may remember. In addition to this, Allah simplified the Quran with the Arabic language because humanity obtains righteousness from their understanding of the Quran. We have certainly presented for the people in this Qur'an from every kind of example that they may remember. Qur'anan arabiyan ghayla dhi iwajil la'allakum yattaqoon It is an Arabic Qur'an without any deviance that they may become righteous. Also, Allah says, وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا وَصَرَّفْنَا فِيهِ مِنَ الْوَعِيدِ And thus, we sent it down as an Arabic Qur'an and have diversified therein the warnings. لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَّقُونَ أَوْ يُحْدِثُ لَهُمْ ذِكْرًا That perhaps they may fear Allah or it will cause them to reflect. When reading and understanding the Qur'an was simplified by the eloquence of the Arabic language, it evidently affected the non-Arabs from among the Muslims. This is because every prophet was sent with the language of his people. However, our noble prophet Muhammad وسلم, was sent to all of humanity, not just the Arabs. Thus, when Allah revealed the Quran in Arabic, it necessitated that non-Arabs learn this blessed language. Allah has said, وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِهِ لِيُبَيِّنَ لَهُمْ And we did not send any messenger except speaking in the language of his people in order that he might make the message clear for them. This verse conveys the dire necessity for non-Arabs to learn Arabic with proficiency. Allah revealed the Qur'an in Arabic to his prophet to make the message clear for all of humanity. Thus, it behooves every Muslim community in the world that there exists from among them those who embark upon learning Arabic so that they may understand the message of their Lord. The companions of the Messenger of Allah were both Arabs and non-Arabs. Nonetheless, when they all understood the Arabic language, they benefited tremendously from what the Prophet was sent with from the revelation of Allah. Allah says in Surah Al-Jumu'ah, الَّذِي بَعَثَ فِي الْأُمِّيِّينَ رَسُولًا مِّنْهُمْ يَتْلُوا عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِ It is he who sent among the unlettered a messenger from themselves reciting to them his verses. وَيُزَكِّيهِمْ وَيُعَلِّمُهُمُ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحِكْمَةِ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ And purifying them, and teaching them the book and the wisdom, although they were before in clear error. Thus, they benefited from the Qur'an 
that which uplifted them and guided them through the clear error they were once upon. In the verse following this, Allah informs about another group of the companions the Prophet was sent to. وَآخَرِينَ مِنْهُمْ لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ And he sent him also to others among them who have not yet joined them, and he is almighty, the all-wise. These companions were nine Arabs from the country of Iran. In explanation of this verse, Al-Bukhari and Muslim collected a narration from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu where he says, We were sitting with the Prophet when Surah Al-Jumu'ah descended upon him. When he read, وَآخَرِينَ مِنْهُمْ لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ And he sent him to others among them who have not yet to join them. A man said, Who are they, O Messenger of Allah? But the Prophet did not respond to him until he asked two or three times. Then he said, and amongst us is Salman al farisi And the Prophet put his hand upon Salman and said, If belief in Allah was at the star called Athuraya, the ones who would obtain it are men from these people. Thus we see from the beginning of Islam, non-Arabs became proficient in the Arabic language. The importance of non-Arabs studying Arabic was known from the beginning of Islam as this is clearly seen in a narration collected by Imam Ahmed and Abu Dawood that Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu anhu said, خَرَجَ عَلَيْنَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَعَلَىٰ آلِهِ وَسَلَّمْ وَنَحْنُ نَقْرَأُ الْقُرْآنِ وَفِينَا الْعَجَمِ وَالْأَعْرَابِ Prophet came upon us, meaning in the masjid, while we were reciting Quran, and amongst us were nine Arabs, and Bedouin Arabs. Qala fastama'a. Faqala iqra'u fakullun hasanun. He said, the Prophet listened. Then he said, recite, because all of it is good. Wa sayati qawmun yuqimunahu kama yuqamu al-qadah yata'ajjalunahu wa la yata'ajjalunah. Indeed, there will come a people who exaggerate in pronouncing and articulating it making it straight as an arrow. They are seeking a worldly reward and not seeking a reward in the hereafter. From this narration, we want to highlight that the companions, whether Arab or non-Arab, study the Quran, which necessitates studying Arabic. This is because there is a portion of knowledge that every Muslim community in the world must acquire despite the diversity of their languages and cultures. This is the kind of study that caused the religion of Islam to spread throughout the world. However, we clearly see the prophecy of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that there will come a people who study the Quran, Arabic, and Islamic studies seeking worldly gain. This is one of the main reasons for the stagnation and the lack of development we, as Muslims, suffer from. The Muslims before our time worked diligently to gain knowledge. As a result, the Arabic language, the recitation of the Quran, and the sciences of Islam have reached this generation of ours. Thus, we should feel a heavy burden on our shoulders to deliver these treasures to the up and coming generation. The knowledge of Islam is like an ocean with no shore. It is very vast. However, understanding the Arabic language and the Book of Allah is essential in the development of Muslim communities throughout the world. Allah, the Most High, has made his book easy to read and understand, and he, from his mercy, wants all of humanity to read his book and benefit. Listen to this verse where he, the Most High, says, وَإِنْ أَحَدٌ مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ اسْتَجَارَكَ فَأَجِرْهُ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ And if any one of the polytheists seek your protection, then grant him protection so that he may hear the words of Allah, meaning the Qur'an. Allah commands his prophet to grant protection to the disbelievers if they request it, 
so that they may hear the words of Allah because they don't know the reality of this religion. As for you, you are Muslim. You have a greater opportunity to hear the speech of Allah and benefit from it. Allah has made the Quran easy with the Arabic language. Therefore, you should embark upon it wholeheartedly. The history of Islam testifies to the heart trembling effect the Quran had upon many Jews, Christians, and idol worshippers in the time of the Prophet. Understanding Arabic put them in a position to be influenced by the Book of Allah. Listen to the statement of Jubair ibn Mut'im. Qala sami'atu al-Nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallama yaqra'u fil maghribi bit-tur wa thalika awwala ma waqra al-imanu fi qalbi. Jubair ibn Mut'im says, as it was collected by Imam al-Bukhari, I heard the Prophet reading in the Maghrib prayer from Surah At-Tur. That was the first time faith fell into my heart. This companion was a disbeliever when he heard these verses recited. Understanding the Arabic language afforded him this great experience. As for you, you're Muslim. You and the Muslims in your community who worship Allah every day are in a greater position that their hearts tremble from the fear of Allah. However, understanding Arabic is a key instrument during the time of the Prophet, many Jews and Christians understood Arabic and were affected by what they heard from the Book of Allah. Allah says, وَلَقَدْ وَصَّلْنَا لَهُمُ الْقَوْلَ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَذَكَّرُونَ And indeed, we have conveyed to them the word, the Qur'an, that they may be reminded. الَّذِينَ آتَيْنَاهُمُ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ هُمْ بِهِ يُؤْمِنُونَ those to whom we gave the book before it, meaning the Jews and the Christians, they were given the book before the Qur'an. They believe in it, meaning the Qur'an. إِذَا يُتْلَى عَلَيْهِمْ قَالُوا آمَنَّا بِهِ إِنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّنَا إِنَّا كُنَّا مِنْ قَبِلِهِ مُسْلِمِينَ And if it is recited to them, they say, we believe in it. It is the truth from our Lord indeed. Even before it, we have been from those who submit. If a Jew or a Christian would accept Islam after listening to the recitation of the Quran, imagine its effect upon a Muslim who understands Arabic and practices Islam. There are several examples like this in the Book of Allah. Each example serves as an eye-opener for us regarding the importance of learning Arabic with proficiency. In the Qur'an, Allah describes the impact of Qur'anic recitation upon those who were given knowledge from the Jews and the Christians. قُلْ آمِنُوا بِهِ أَوْ لَا تُؤْمِنُوا Say, believe in it or don't believe. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ إِذَا يُتْلَى عَلَيْهِمْ يَخِرُّونَ لِلْأَذْقَانِ سُجَّدًا Verily, those who were given knowledge before it, when it is recited to them, they fall upon their faces in prostration. وَيَقُولُونَ سُبَحَانَ رَبِّنَا إِنْ كَانَ وَعْدُ رَبِّنَا لَمَفْعُولًا And they say, exalted is our Lord. Indeed, the promise of our Lord has been fulfilled. وَيَخِرُّونَ لِلْأَذْقَانِ يَبَكُونَ وَيَزِيدُهُمْ خُشُوعًا And they fall down on their faces crying and it increases them in humility. These verses demonstrate the immediate effect the Qur'an often has upon those who understand it, even if they are not Muslim. Thus, it's a heavy encouragement for Muslims to study Arabic individually and collectively. There's a beautiful verse in the Qur'an concerning a knowledgeable Christian. When the Qur'an was recited to him, his eyes flooded with tears. This is the story of an najashi the king of Ethiopia. The companions of the Messenger of Allah fled with their religion from oppression and migrated to his land. Upon their arrival, they explained to an najashi that they were the followers of the Prophet Muhammad Thus he asked them if they had anything from the revelation 
that this prophet came with. Therefore, Ja'far ibn Abi Talib read to him the beginning of Surah Maryam. When an Najashi heard the story of Maryam from the Quran, he cried until his beard was full of tears and eventually accepted Islam. Allah said regarding this, وَإِذَا سَمِعُوا مَا أُنزِلَ إِلَى الرَّسُولِ تَرَى أَعْيُنَهُمْ تَفِيضُ مِنَ الدَّمْعِ مِمَّا عَرَفُوا مِنَ الْحَقِّ And when they hear what has been revealed to the Messenger, you see their eyes overflowing with tears because of what they have recognized from the truth. يَقُولُونَ رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا فَاكْتُبَنَا مَعَ الشَّاهِدِينَ They said, Our Lord, we have believed Write us down among the witnesses. These are just a few examples of the golden history of Islam that conveys the importance of learning Arabic. It is the blessed language that Allah chose to reveal his book in and the language of our blessed Prophet ﷺ. Therefore, we want to conclude this blog by contemplating upon this question from Allah. وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكِرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ We have certainly made the Qur'an easy for remembrance. Is there anyone who will reflect upon this? These blogs are intended to help prepare you to study Arabic with proficiency. From Print to Practice presents to you free online classes from the book the Beneficial Fundamentals in Learning the Arabic Language. The book launch is approaching closely. Therefore, take the time to improve your reading skills. Follow our website. Stay informed regarding the launching of the book. And ask Allah the Most High for His help.